Welcome back to The Price of Business. I'm your host, Kevin Price, talking to you about you and your business. Do you want to remind the listener, best content here shows up over there at usdailyreview.com. And while you're there, like it on Facebook, follow it on Twitter. Plus, don't forget to check out our national television show on the Biz TV Network. And it's coast to coast and delighted to be able to have a future guest in that program, Paul Carroll. We're going to be getting you on that show, my understanding, fairly soon. Looking forward to that. And uh, Paul has a great firm, Efficient Wealth Management. I consider him a thought leader when it comes to uh, the whole uh, financial front and uh, and now the author of uh, more than one book. Uh, congratulations. And great books at that, Paul. Good to, good to talk to you, as always. But- Thank you. Good morning. EfficientWealthManagement.com is your website, and it looks like you got a great guest for us. Introduce that guest. Great. So my guest this morning is Gil Staley. Gil is the CEO of the Economic Development Partnership. And, of course, they're having a very interesting event uh, this Friday, the uh, Economic Outlook Conference. So I was really hoping to tap Gil's brain and find out what he thinks about what's in the near future for the Woodlands. Well, good morning, and thanks, Paul, for the opportunity. We're, we're extremely excited uh, to be able to present the Economic Outlook Conference. In fact, it's the 30th anniversary of this event, with approximately 650 attendees expected. Now, that's fantastic. Why don't you talk a little bit about the organization that is sponsoring the event? Well, the Economic Development Partnership has been in existence almost 18 years here in the Woodlands. Our primary mission, very simply put, job creation and capital investment. What that means is we're simply trying to create jobs here. So we recruit companies from all over the world to hopefully either relocate or expand to this area then once they get here, we want to make sure they stay. So we want to retain their businesses and help them expand as well. Mm -hmm. Very good. Go ahead, Paul. Uh, You know, I know Gil personally. I've known him for a long time. I'm a member of the Economic Development Partnership, and he really goes above and beyond promoting the woodlands. Today, of course, promoting the woodlands in the energy sector is difficult, not because there's anything wrong with the woodlands, but we have noticed there's a little bit of a, a few challenges in the energy sector. What, how, what would you say to a business outside of the woodlands to, as to why they should move here? Well, it, it's all about the assets that we have here. Our niche market, if you will, are corporate headquarters, and they range from true Fortune 500 companies, and I'll mention them, and Adarco. CB&I, Chicago Bridge and Iron, and Huntsman are all three truly headquartered here as Fortune 500 companies. And then it ranges down to smaller independent organizations, but truly operating headquarters here in the Woodlands. So our assets are basically Class A office buildings, and that thankfully is our niche market. So we aggressively recruit frequently. Uh, to try to secure those companies to come to one of the best master plan communities in the United States, one of the fastest growing in Texas. All of the amenities that a corporate headquarters looks for, from a very trained workforce to abundant of hospitals, education opportunities, and then it goes with retail and the shopping for all the families and then the abundance of trees and parks that we're so well known for. Uh, Talk a little bit about uh, the kind of people that will attend this event uh, today, Friday. It's truly one of the top business-to-business events in the entire Houston region. So it will range from corporate executives to independent mom-and-pop companies that want to expand their network. Certainly, there's a great lineup of speakers, but it's also one of the best opportunities to network, to build your network that actually goes on in the entire Houston region. Mm -hmm. Very good. Paul? I I think it's amazing what you guys do. There's a lot of concern in the Woodlands. Um, Some of that concern with regards to the energy industry has created some 
very attractive availability of brand new Class A office space. Uh, is, is this helping you with with your endeavors to promote the woodlands? Well, it, it is. You know, that's that's a double edged sword. You know, in in my line of work in economic development, to have available Class A office space just ready to go for a move in, that's fantastic. Now, you don't want too much, and we're on the edge of, of being in that area. Right now, we probably have a little excess of 1 million square feet that will either be on the market soon or certainly by this year. That's that's unusual for us. And then you add to that sublease space that's available. A lot of companies have gone through mergers or downsizing and have to vacate their space. It's still lease space, but it's now sublease available. And so, again, that's a pretty significant number that we're seeing here. I'm the ultimate optimist. I look at it as opportunities because when it does turn, oil and gas will turn. It's the first to market that will be able to win those relocations, and we will be ready. By the way, give your uh, give your website. edpartnership.net. edpartnership.net. And uh, we'll talk a little bit about what other things you're doing uh, to help the, the business community between events like this. Well, we certainly are always talking to commun- or to businesses to try to help them weather this storm, whether it's workforce training issues, whether it's trying to facilitate incentives for them to grow, tax incentives, if you will, being a voice for the business community to our elected officials. It could be mobility challenges that we all face in the entire Houston region. We are there as their voice. We we like to pride ourselves as being the voice for the business community, and we're the grand facilitators. I love saying that because we actually are facilitating on behalf of the business community all areas uh, of benefit for them. So uh, we've been doing it for a long time, and we, we love being that that true ally for them. Mm -hmm. Very good. Wrap it up for us, Paul Carroll. Well, it's amazing what Gil does. Everywhere I go, I seem to run into him. He works double time to promote the woodlands. And though the energy industry is in a slump, this uh, this area is much more diversified than people think. The the medical services are, are possibly as large or greater employer as the energy industry sector is in the woodlands. And um, I think people who live here need to understand that despite the, the short-term slump, the future for this area is really very bright. Mm-hmm. I agree. Great interview. Thanks so much to both of you. Do want to remind the listener, best content here, including this interview, will be found over there at the national news website, usdailyreview.com. That's, I guess, over a million hits a month. And uh, glad to be able to provide great content like this. When we come back, much more for you right here on The Price of Business.